My name is Kevin Fernandez, and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing video on the game... Alien, Fate of the Nostromo. Uh, this is a board game based off of the first Alien movie, so you don't want to expect any of the, uh, you know, not, there's not going to be that many of the, uh, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't remember the, the name of the alien. It was just the alien at the time. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they didn't have their name yet. I know they have a name now. And I'll probably figure it out by the end of this video. But, uh, you know, I like how the... But, talking about the game, I like how the cover of the box is just basically the poster of Alien. Um, I don't really think they need to advertise that much because it is Alien. Alien is one of the most popular franchises out there. I mean, even to this day, a lot of people are still going to see all these other Alien movies. But, um, again, these are all the main... You get to play as all the main characters. Minus John Hurt's character, because we all know what happened to him. Um, and this is this is all by Ravensburger. So, that's enough chit-chat. Let's crack this nut open, see what's inside. So, um, here we go. We have the cover of the box, which, like I said, is just the alien poster, mostly. And they even have the tagline, in space, no one can hear you scream. They have the little, um, the egg. Oh my gosh. I swear I used... Oh, Xenomorphs, I believe. I hope that's what it is. Um, if, yeah, if you guys can remember... I am shooting blanks here. If you guys can remember the name of the alien in Alien, let me know in the comments down below because I am, like, just... Boo, total brain fart. So we're going to just flip this on its back. And it shows, like, the little... The figures and the characters you can... You can have... That's going to be in this game. Um... Most of the components, they list the component contents down here. And so now we're going to cut the four seals. And see if it will release. Ah. Okay, so this is the board. Um, it's got the layout of the ship and everything. Put that. And this looks like the rule book. Oh, they just call it the alien. Yeah, because I guess they're just really going off of alien. And in the alien, they didn't have... Uh... They didn't have a, a name for the alien. Okay, here we go. Punchables. Oh, good. <laughs> it, comes with, it comes with a bag to store your punchables. So I think I'm just going to punch out everything and I'll pack it all back away once it's done. So start with one, two, three, four. I've never played this game, I want to point this out. So like half the stuff I'll only know based off of like the movie. I will not know based off of like the game. Which is sad because I did watch this movie like not that long ago. It was like before my wedding. Okay, I guess it was quite a bit ago. It was last year. <laughs> so we just punch out all these parts. That's what they kind of look like. They kind of look like little parts. Hmm. 
So I got these two markers coming out. Got the alien. Ah, coolant contain canisters, uh, motion trackers, incinerator, flashlight. These are like obviously like items that you can probably equip. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully these are all guesses. I'm, I'm pointing this out because like I wanted to play this game at uh, Gen Con. I think it was two years ago now because yeah, as I'm recording this, this is still December, but um, as it is released, it is January of 2023, and yeah, the Gen Con I came where you could demo this game was about two years ago. This was the one where everybody was like very biting their nails. Hopefully the nail biting has gone down a bit, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited for this year's Gen Con. Okay, I'm just going to go by So we got Escape on the Narcissus. Yep. Uh, we're going to blow up the ship. You, you have my sympathies. I don't know why I said, I thought that said you have my shipmates. Cut off energy bulkhead and every vent. And blow it out of space. You know, we really, you know, if you've never seen uh, Alien, don't knock it till you try it because I want to point this out. If it weren't for Alien, uh, the Avengers would have never been able, um, would never have been able to beat Ebony Moth. And now we got our playable characters. We got Ripley. We got Dallas. We got Brett. We got Parker, the only smart person on the ship, okay? Parker, I don't know if you guys remember this, so if you haven't seen Alien, spoiler, but Parker suggested that they freeze him um, when, he, when they found out about that. If they probably would have done that, like, all the events of Alien probably would have been avoided. And Lambert. Oh, Dallas has more actions than everybody else. And Brett has uh, fewer actions than everybody else. That's good because, uh, you know, we gotta make sure, we got to make sure Sigourney Weaver has uh, at least the most or, you know, uh, like a decent amount of actions, you know. I do like the likeness of the characters. They do look like they got the likeness of the actors down, packed. Uh, these are just some stands. For those, uh, for these two, um, and now I I will move on to the figures. So here's the alien. I like the detail on these miniatures; are getting more and more detailed. Kind of liking that. Oh, they have their names, so here's Dallas. They do have their names on the stand. This one's Lambert. Brett. Parker. Again, only smart person on the ship. And yet he had to die because the weird rule in horror films and Ripley, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be fighting over who to uh, who's going to be playing as Ripley. Because she is the most popular character in Alien. That's why they keep reviving her in Alien. Okay, now we got our cards and that'll be that. It has a thingamajigger. I 
I do want to point this out that I did get this as a Christmas present uh, from my mom. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video and I really should mention how I get these, these things. Um, so we're gonna bring this forward and these are kind of the pro player aid cards and then uh, here's the real cards and oh my gosh look at that artwork that looks so detailed and great. It is just really, really good artwork. Oh, fantastic. That's what I love about Ravensburger with their games. Like, the artwork is just phenomenal. Like, Funko Games also has some really good stuff, too. A lot of gaming companies are really up in their game when it comes to art. So then I'll toss this in the box. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can fit this. Oh, I can, I can. Hopefully I can fit everything in here. I'm just gonna, hopefully. Got, a, got all of our little tools, all of our doodads and pieces. Okay, I'll put that in there. I will then put the board in its proper position. back on and there we go alien fate of the nostromo well that's everything inside of alien fate of the nostromo uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified for unboxing videos just like this now of course naturally I will probably put this on one of our uh, next how to play video polls so you guys can decide whether you uh, would like to see this on there or not but if you'd like me to fast track this just let me know down in the comments below and I'll get to uh, and I'll make sure to get that out there as soon as possible. Um, also, normally I would say, who would you like to see host this video? But I will definitely be teaching Alien because I know a lot more about the Alien lore and the characters and stuff like that. Um, so it'll just be easier for me to talk about this than Jordan. So this one will be me only. Um, but if you... but. Uh, all that saying, if you're in a charitable mood, consider donating to the Save a Pet Foundation. This is a um, this is a wonderful charity where um, they take in strays from all over um, and nurse them back to health. Any animal that has been abused, just abandoned, or even rescued from a euthanasia clinic, um, they are they are anti anti death. They believe that every pet deserves a second chance and they try to nurse those pets back to health so that way they can get that second chance and find that forever home that so many people talk about on Facebook. Um, but, uh, you know, and uh, it is just a wonderful charity. I know this is kind of, my wife did suggest that, uh, my wife Jordan, she did suggest that we should uh, do a animal related one. This is, this is one that's not only animal related, but they're based here in Illinois, so I figured they're off in Lake Zurich, so if you guys are in the Lake Zurich area, go check them out. Um, there are several ways you can support these, this uh, cause. You can spread the word, you can donate, or you can also uh, adopt a pet from them as well. That's, uh, that is one of the ways you can support their organization. And hey, you know, I would also say uh, contact them and see if they'll open up a clinic in your state, so that way, you know, uh, because I do feel like yeah, they, we should have more of these non-kill, uh, like, animal shelters, uh, and um, every pet deserves a second chance, no matter how old or, or young it is. But, that being said, um, be on the lookout for our next unboxing video, but until then, thanks for the views.